Hey you guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I have a cool new map making feature for you, and that is blood slash bleeding in Minecraft. So here we go, I'm going to go ahead and take some of this stuff out, and set the time to night, so that the zombies don't die. Uh, time set night, there we go. So now, you can see here, when I spawn a zombie, uh, as soon as I take less than, or take more than two hearts of damage, so my health is at uh, eight hearts or less, I will start bleeding. So you can see here it says I'm bleeding and it's going to set redstone wires wherever I walk. You can change the delay for this using repeater clocks, and yeah, let's go ahead and see how it works. Alrighty, this is it. This is all of the redstone. And there's a few things that make this work. First, uh... Um, I have a little feature enabled that makes it so that when you break the blood or redstone wire, it's not going to drop a uh, redstone, and it makes it so I don't have a bunch of redstone block items spewing around. And that is the game rule of do tile drops. You can see I have it set to false. If I set it to true, you can be able to you'd be able to uh, break the redstone and get redstone back, and I'll have redstone blocks lying everywhere, and I don't want that. And next thing that makes it work is a scoreboard. A couple scoreboard objectives, and that's bloody and health. Bloody is just dummy, I can set it to 1 or 0 to run other commands, and health just keeps track of the player health. Pretty simple. So what happens first is this command block is going to test for a player that has taken 2 hearts of damage or more, so in other words they have 8 hearts or less left. Uh, when it finds someone, it's going to go ahead and change all of those players uh, and set their bloody value to 1 and tell them that they are bleeding. When their bloody value is set to 1, this command block is going to uh, repeatedly set redstone wires uh, at their feet. And right here, um, it's also going to turn this redstone torch off. When my health, or when a uh, player's health goes back up, uh, and just straight back up, goes above uh, eight health, so I have like eight and a half hearts, or uh, nine hearts, nine and a half, or full ten hearts, uh, this torch is going to turn back on, and it's going to tell me that, or tell all the players that they stopped bleeding, and it's going to set their bloody value back to zero, which will make this command block stop placing redstone wires at their feet. And that's about it. Pretty simple, right? Just only seven command blocks. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to put a map down below this. I can and I will see you I in the next video. I know you're a monster.